Trying to optimize your WooCommerce store for SEO can feel more complicated than entering an impenetrable maze, but it doesn't have to be. If you follow the tips I'm going to give you in this video, you'll be 80% already there optimizing your website for search engines. That means getting more traffic from Google and other search engines related to your keywords. So let me give you all the tips. And make sure to subscribe to our channel before you start following the tips. Let's begin. My first tip is to always install a great SEO plugin. My recommendation goes to All-in-One SEO or AI SEO for short. It's one of the best SEO plugins on the market. Now WooCommerce is already optimized for SEO or at least it has some features that you can use to optimize your product pages and your website for SEO, but it doesn't have all the options required that you need to maximize your chances. In this case, All-in-One comes to the rescue and gives you all the different options, opportunities and different criteria that you need to fulfill to give Google all the data it needs and maximize your chance in the search results. Some of the important features are robots meta, schema, optimizing your website for social sharing, and hundreds of other features that can move the needle when it comes to SEO. So make sure to install All-in-One SEO. It's pretty simple. There's a free version you can get started. Just head over to the plugin section in your WordPress website, search for AIO SEO, and you'll see All-in-One SEO come up in the search results. Just make sure to install and follow the setup wizard, which will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of doing all the heavy lifting for you so you don't have to be a technical genius to optimize your site. By following the setup wizard, most of the optimizations that you need to perform will be taken care of by All-in-One SEO itself. So that's the first step to optimize your WooCommerce website for SEO. The next step in optimizing your website for SEO and getting more traffic from Google and other search engines is write friendly or SEO friendly product titles. Now optimizing your titles makes the most sense because Google can see it and will make decisions based on the name of the title or name of the product at what the product is about and understand your product pages. And also the users will also see it. That means the customers that you hope to get to your site will also see the product title and make a decision if that's the product that they are looking for and they'll click through your website. So optimizing that is the most important thing you can do on your WooCommerce store. Thankfully, All-in-One SEO has you covered. It has an inbuilt feature where you can optimize your titles based on how or what keywords you want to add there. All you have to do is go to any WooCommerce products, scroll down to the bottom of the page to find All-in-One SEO settings box. There you'll find the product title option. And what you can do is customize the product title individually or customize a template that will be used for all your products. So if you want to add the brand name of the product, store name to the product, or any optimized keyword to a lot of different products, then you can make change to the template once and it will be carried forward to all the different products. And you'll still have control over individual product names. You can optimize them directly on the product page itself. When you're optimizing titles, it's important to remember that you're optimizing for search engines. That means people typing something in Google search. So make sure to add relevant keywords that people might search related to your products. A simple example of a boring and unoptimized title would be leather wallet. It describes the product but doesn't give you any details of what people will search for. On the contrary, an SEO optimized title for the same product can say double fold slim natural leather brown wallet. It describes a lot of things that people will search for. High quality, leather, durable, slim, double fold. These are the kind of things that people search for when buying anything. So if you describe your products in an SEO friendly way, just like the example I just gave you, you're maximizing or increasing the chances that Google will understand your product and Google's job is to connect people with the right information. So your products coming up in search or the chances of your products coming up in search will be maximized. That's step number one. The next tip is to optimize your product's meta descriptions. Now, unlike the title, the meta description does not show up on your site. Anything with the word meta usually means that it's designed only for search engines. So meta description is first thing important to search engines to understand the product better. And the meta description also shows up just below the link or the URL or the title in the search engines directly. So what you write here is important because the visitors or the users, when they see the title, the next thing that logically they'll do is read the description. And if it matches their expectations, they're more likely to click on the product. Now the process to optimize this is very simple. Go to All-in-One SEO and just below the product title, you'll see the tab for meta description or optimizing your meta description. In the same way that you optimize the title, you can optimize the meta description by typing in the meta description or use the smart tags built in All-in-One SEO to get dynamic data. So if you want to add the product title there, you want to add the product description there or any other data that is already on your site, you can refer it there. And again, it supports templates. So you can use or create a template on the website level that will be used for your meta descriptions or optimize every individual product's meta description. 
Now keep in mind this is very important for visitors as well as search engines. So make sure to add the same SEO friendly keywords or describe the product in a way which will fulfill the user's desire. So if the wallet you're selling is a slim wallet, make sure to add those keywords because if that's what users are looking for, it's very useful for them to see it directly in the meta description, which will help them convert better and click through your website. The next tip is to optimize your product's slug. Now slug is a fancy word for URL. But the URL is not the complete URL. It's after your site name, what shows up here is called as the slug. And this is what users will see just below the title as the link that they'll click through. So it's obviously important for visitors. And it's also important for search engines because looking at the slug, our search engines decide or take, take, take it as a input feedback on what the product is about. So make sure to do the same optimization we did for the titles and meta descriptions. That means add the relevant keywords. But the idea here is to not to make the slug way too long. It looks awkward and unnatural. So just make it smaller and moderate length so that it makes sense to the user as well as search engines. So for example, if you're selling a slim wallet, once again, you might say instead of slim, durable, uh, double fold leather wallet, that's a very long URL, you might say slim double fold leather wallet or even slim leather wallet. That makes more sense from a slug perspective because you've already added the relevant data in the title and meta descriptions. You can skip the uh, making the slug too long, and just make it useful. And once again, you can customize the slug directly in all unknown SEO. Just below the SEO title, you'll have the option to customize your slug as well. Whatever the slug is, the default option is the title. So if you optimize the title with a lot of different keywords, the slug will become by default way too long. So all you have to do is delete the slug and just add an SEO friendly uh, slug the way I described and you'll have an optimized slug in WooCommerce instantly. The next optimization tip I have for you is to enable breadcrumbs on your site. Now breadcrumbs might be confusing to a lot of people because breadcrumbs show up in a variety of different places. On your website, you can configure them and they also show up in Google search. So it might be confusing to what actual breadcrumbs are. So all of the things I described are breadcrumbs, but the performance or the show up differently in the variety of different ways. So the first place where breadcrumbs show up is in Google search. So when you search for any product specifically, you'll find the breadcrumbs just below the product title. That means the big blue link that you click on, the breadcrumbs are usually just below it. So they give a nice hierarchy or to the user to understand where the product is. For example, somebody's once again searching for leather wallet, then you might have, have a, a category for leather products on your site. So the instant hierarchy will show up. That means users will have more confidence to see that, hey, maybe this site does sell all good leather products. So they might just go to it. So that's the first place where bread comes show up. Now, the question is how to enable this feature that Google actually shows bread comes in the search results. Well, the answer is pretty simple. All you have to do is go to All-in-One SEO and All-in-One SEO has a setting for breadcrumbs already inside the general settings. So once you're inside the general settings, all you have to do is go to the breadcrumb section and enable breadcrumbs. And you can also enable or add breadcrumbs to blog posts that you write. For example, let's say you're writing a blog post on the best 10 wallets you can carry or top minimal wallets or leather wallets, something like that. Then you can enable or add breadcrumbs manually to these pages as well. So all you have to do is once you've enabled breadcrumbs in all in one SEO, just use the all in one SEO breadcrumbs Gutenberg block. So when you're writing the blog post, just search for the new blog, search for AIO SEO breadcrumbs, and you'll find the breadcrumbs block there. Just add it to the page wherever you want. And if you're mentioning a specific category and you say to the users that, hey, if you're looking for slim leather wallets, here's where you can go to. So you can directly enable or add the breadcrumbs there so people can actually make a decision whether they want to click through the category or the main category. So it also gives users a nice hierarchical view of whatever products you have on your WooCommerce store. So that's the three places breadcrumbs show up. First in Google search, and once you enable them in all in SEO, you don't have to worry about showing them up in Google search. Then all in SEO does everything inside so that Google can understand. And if you want to show breadcrumbs on, uh, let's say blog post on your site, then just use the Gutenberg blog that I just mentioned, and you can add breadcrumbs to any pages or post on your site as well. The next optimization tip is to properly categorize your products using categories and tags. Now, a lot of people might be confused between the difference between categories and tags. So let me just give you a simple explanation. Categories are mostly hierarchical. So if you have products on your store that have follow a hierarchy, then you might want to use categories. For example, wallets, then leather wallets, then slim leather wallets. It's a nice hierarchy. But let's say you're defining also kind of style that has a print that it has or the color it has, then you might use tags to signify what kind of style the wallet has. So it can have a print on it. It can be slim. It can be used for a specific style. That is where tags come in. 
Now, why this is important is because first of all, it makes logical sense to understand your products and also Google can understand these categories better. And also WooCommerce by default will create pages for categories. So if you have category called wallets, then WooCommerce will create a dedicated page about it and leather wallets, then WooCommerce will again create a dedicated page about it. So it's important to understand what kind of categories you are creating because they will have dedicated pages and you can optimize them with all in SEO, which I'm going to describe in the next few steps. So the idea is that if let's say you're selling leather wallets and you have a specific category page on your site called leather wallets, wouldn't you want that page to rank high in the search results? Obviously, that's the money maker, right? So in that case, the best thing you can do is, first of all, categorize your products logically based on what you just understood and also optimize those pages so you can maximize the chances of those category pages also ranking in the search results. So the foundation of getting more search traffic through category pages or on category pages is to optimize and first organize your products. So make sure to use categories correctly. You can use tags as well based on what our information is. And if you want to understand the difference on a deeper level, I'll link a blog post down in the description of this video where you'll find the difference between categories and tags so you can read up on it and make an informed decision on what you want to use for organizing products on your WooCommerce store. The next optimization you should perform is add alt text to all your images. Now, what is an alt text? Alt text stands for alternate text. Now, originally it was created so that uh, visually disabled people or people using screen readers can hear what the image is about because screen readers usually won't display images, but they'll display a text what the image is about. So people with visual disability can hear it and people using screen readers can actually read it. But search engine understood that this is a great way to understand what the image is about. This is before the AI boom was there and people or Google or search engines could actually understand images to a good level. So they would use alt text as let's say a direction to understand what the image is about. And understanding an image on a page is a great idea to understand what the page is about. So on a WooCommerce product page, if the product is described or the image alt text describes the product, it's a signal to Google what the product is about. So it's important to optimize and make sure to add all the relevant keywords to your alt text as well. Now, thankfully, all this is easy right inside WordPress, but what you can do is automate it. So let me first describe how would you do it in WordPress. All you have to do is go to your media library, go to your images, any images, and once you open the image in a broader big view, you'll see an alt text option just to the right and you can add your alt text there. Now, thankfully, all in one SEO has automation features where you can optimize alt text on your site. And basically it has an entire image SEO module which you can use to completely overhaul your images. Here's some of the features inside all in SEO's image SEO feature. You can create an alt tag format inside all in SEO, which will apply to all images. That means all the images will automatically have their alt tag created and added to them directly. And you can also do a lot of th different things. You can enable auto-generate caption on upload, auto-generate description on upload. That means whenever you upload images to your site, all in SEO will automatically generate the caption and the description of the image. Now, all in SEO also have a feature of automatically optimizing the title of the images. So whenever you upload an image, and if you have set up all in SEO correctly, the title of the image will automatically be created as well. Now that's pretty powerful stuff. So if you're just using all in SEO, enable the image SEO add-on, enable all these features, configure them. Whenever you upload an image, the alt text, the title, the caption, and the description of these images will be created automatically, and you won't even have to lift a finger. That's the power of using all in SEO. The next and very important tip to optimize your WooCommerce store is to optimize your category pages. Let me show you how. So as I already explained, WooCommerce will create a dedicated page for every category you have. And if you optimize your categories or created your categories well, then all of these pages will be created by WooCommerce automatically. So the best thing you can do is to optimize these pages using SEO titles and meta descriptions. Now, similar to how you optimize product pages, all in an SEO also lets you optimize product category pages inside WooCommerce. All you have to do is head to the category page on your WooCommerce store and then edit the category. And on the edit page, if you scroll down, you'll see the all in one SEO settings. I'll give you a snippet preview, a category title and meta description. The snippet preview is pretty powerful to understand how it's gonna look like, but the more important thing you have to optimize is the category title and meta description. Make sure to use the same principles I described of using SEO optimized words to describe the specific category and add the relevant keywords and description to the title and the meta description. 
As I said, the meta description does not show up to the users, but it will show up in the search results. And also the title is obviously displayed for the S search engines and also for the users as well. And it'll show up on your website as well. So make sure to optimize both of these and maximize your chances of getting traffic to category pages. The next important tip doesn't directly relate to SEO, but it's very important if you want to get higher rankings. And that's to optimize your website for best performance. That means optimize your website for speed. Now speed or optimizing your website for speed is a complicated topic. You can do hundreds of things or thousands of things to improve the speed of your WooCommerce store. But the most important and the biggest impact you can have is by choosing the right hosting provider. If you choose the right hosting provider and choose the right plan from the hosting provider, you will get a lot of the work done from the speed perspective already. Now there are tons of hosting providers out there, but our word goes to Bluehost and SiteGround. Both of them have startup plans that are built for basic websites, few pages websites. But if you want to run a successful e-commerce store, we would recommend that you go for the e-commerce plans or the higher plans. Once you have that, you'll have a lot of bandwidth, a lot of data, and a lot of, I'd say, speed on your website, which will automatically improve the load times of your website. And people will be happier because they'll get faster load times and be able to browse your store faster. So make sure to optimize or choose the right hosting provider. That's also absolutely important for SEO. The next important optimization tip I have for you is to make data-backed decisions. What are the products that people are interested in? What are they checking out? What are they actually purchasing on your site? Making all these decisions requires data. And once you have that data, you can just understand your people better or customers better and make important decisions like what products to promote on the homepage, which products should show up in the category page, top of the page, and all those decisions that give the people what they want without the friction. And if you want to use this, or if you want to gather the data, the most important tool or the most best tool available is Google Analytics. Now, the only problem is that Google Analytics is a little hard for beginners to set up on a WooCommerce store specifically. That's why I would recommend you use something like Monster Insights. Monster Insights takes all the heavy lifting away. And just with a few clicks, you can install Google Analytics on your WooCommerce store. You'll start seeing actionable data instantly. And Monster Insights has a beautiful new feature called AI Insights. So instead of having to hunt into reports, you can actually talk to Monster Insights and ask, hey, how are my sales last week compared to the week before? And Monster Insights will answer those questions without you having to become an analytics expert. And if you want to see this feature live in action and also how to configure Monster Insights on any website, including a WooCommerce store, you should watch this video right here, which will explain how Monster Insights works and also demonstrate that AI Insights features as well. So make sure to check that video out. And if you like this kind of video, subscribe to our channel, leave a comment if you have a question and make sure to like this video as well. You're watching Yuvraj from Double Beginner. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.